How to Manifest Your Desires by Having None by B. U. Norton Narrated by Mehtab Muhammad The entire history of humanity has been a story of struggle and striving for more. We have come a long way through pure effort and willpower alone, but has it brought us any closer to true satisfaction? We are comfortable, but are we happy? It seems that we know of only one way to obtain our desires, struggle. We are relentless in our striving. Sometimes we strive for money, sometimes for health, sometimes for love, and sometimes for simple security and comfort. What we strive for is not important. What is important is to recognize the fact that we are striving for something. But what happens when you finally achieve what you have been striving for? When you finally own that new car you have been desiring for so long? Do you desire it any longer? Nope. Once you get what you thought was so important, it's no longer important. Was it ever important? That is an important question to really ask ourselves whenever we desire something strongly. Is it really important? Why? Who gave me this idea? Is what I have not good enough? Am I being ungrateful? If I don't appreciate what I have now, will I appreciate what I have later? The fundamental error we make as humans is believing that things in the external world can make us feel a certain way. We don't actually want a new car. We just want the feeling we think that new car will give us. We don't actually want a girlfriend or a boyfriend. We just want to stop feeling lonely. We don't actually want more money. We just want to feel secure. What we are after is a feeling and what we need to see is that feelings are generated from within and are not in any way the result of anything and in the external world we think things make us happy because when we achieve something we feel good for a while so we attribute the feeling to the object we say this thing makes me happy this is where we go wrong we give our power away to any external objects What actually made you happy was the elimination of your desire not the achievement of your desire when you receive what you want you stop desiring it that is why you feel happy in most ancient spiritual teachings desire is said to be the root of suffering we suffer not because we don't have what we desire we suffer because we desire if you were to let go of your wanting you would be f- finally at peace Why do we keep on wanting even though on a subtle level we know it does not make us happy we keep holding on because we secretly believe that if we stop wanting we will lose control of our lives if we stop wanting how will we get what we want it is a funny paradox we don't realize that wanting is the actual reason for our suffering we must begin to see that letting go of wanting can never do us any harm our life is not going to fall apart because we stop wanting more look at the trees do you think they desire to grow no they just grow life automatically expresses its perfection regardless of your desires the universe does not care whether or not you desire something the universe is going to make sure you continue to evolve no matter what you have to say about it when you try to force your will on the world you are telling the universe i want to go in this direction even when the universe is trying to guide you in a different direction altogether desire is resistance it is fighting against the natural flow of life is it any wonder that why our lives can seem so chaotic at times please don't mistake a lack of desire for passivity having no desires does not mean you just sit around and do nothing all day in fact without desire you become more productive and accomplish much more than you would otherwise why because you have eliminated all resistance desires keep you in tangled mess of wanting to do a million things at once sign up to urcreators.tv to download and listen to the full audio